Hey, let's go over our PDN, shall we? Uh, question number one is asking us to round 59,402 to the nearest 10 thousandths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle that digit in the 10 thousandths place, which is a 5. And then I'm going to make sure that I draw an arrow to my friend next door, which is the 9. And I'm going to ask myself, is 9 greater than or less than 5? 9 is greater than 5, so I round up. I'm going to put a little 1 right here above my circle digit to remind me that I round up. When I round up, my circle digit changes from 5 to 6, and every digit after, the thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones, become a 0. 59,402 rounded to the nearest ten thousands is 60,000. Number 2, I'm rounding that same number to the nearest hundreds place, so I'm going to circle that 4 digit and then draw an arrow to the 0 digit in my tens place. 0 is less than 5, so I'm going to round down. I'm going to keep my digits before the circle digit, the 5 in the ten thousands, and the 9 in the thousands place the same. My circle digit does not change because I'm rounding down, and the hundreds, or sorry, the tens and the ones afterwards become a 0. So 59,402 rounded to the nearest thousands is 59,400. Number 3 asked me to label 6 times 8 equals 48 using factor and product. The numbers that multiply together to equal something is our factor, and the answer to a multiplication problem is our product. Here are the two numbers that we're multiplying together are 6 and 8. Those are our factors. So one of my factors is 6, one of my factors is 8, and my product of 6 times 8 is 48. I'm now going to identify the factors and factor pairs for 18. The first factor is 1 times that number itself, times 18. I know I can divide 18 by 2 because I have an 8 digit in the 1's place. So now I'm going to roll my 2's until I get to 18 to figure out what times 2 equals 18. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2 times 9 equals 18. I also know that 18 is divisible by 3 because 1 plus 8 equals 9. And I can roll my 3's, 3, 6, 9, and land directly on 9. So that means I could... Roll my 3s and eventually land directly on 18 as well. So now 3 times what equals 18? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 5, 6. 3 times 6 equals 18. And those are my factors. 1, 18, 2, 9, 3, and 6 are all my factors. The pairs are 1, 2, Three, I have three factor pairs. Today we're going to talk about something completely new. It is, finger drum roll please, improper fractions. Ah, the crowd goes wild. Ah. Just a reminder, proper fractions are between zero and one. All pieces in the fraction must be equal and improper fractions are greater than, this is the big difference, are greater than one whole. Today we're gonna look at and write improper fractions. The first step is to, the denominator is the number of equal parts in one whole, just one. And the numerator is the number of total parts in all of the shapes. So if we look at this, Example right here, how many watermelons are there? I first see that each of these can be is divided into two parts. So the one the total number of equal parts in one of my holes is one, two. So that means my denominator is going to be two. Now I need to ask myself. What is the number of total parts in all of the shapes? For the denominator, I just look at one shape. But for the numerator, I count up all three shapes. So I have one part, two part, three, four, 
and 5. I have 5 parts here on my water molds. So my fraction can be written as 5 halves. I have more than one whole water melon. I actually have 5 halves. Let's look down at number 2. First step for number 2, how many pizzas are there? I see that each of these pizzas, if I were to divide them just like I have this one pizza divided, it's going to be divided into four total parts. So I could divide each pizza into four parts, right? One here. That's four parts. That's four parts. That's four parts. Mm. Too bad I can't eat pizza anymore. It's just making me hungry. Darn you, cheese. So I see that each of these is divided into four total parts. I'm first going to find my denominator of my fraction, right? Which is I'm just going to look at one whole. I'm going to look at just this one. How many total parts are there in just one whole? One, two, three, four. My denominator for my improper fraction is going to be four. Now I need to count up all of the parts in every single hole for my numerator, the total parts in all of the holes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen total parts means the total number of pizzas there are are thirteen fourths. Remember, the key here is your denominator, the bottom of your fraction, is the equal parts in one whole. You look at one whole first. Then your numerator is the total number of parts in all the shapes. Shoot your 